Marie, grade 5. We're starting our new lesson that has to do with patterns, and our big idea is describing patterns and tables and rules can help us to solve problems and describe the world. Um, our concept today is to be able to analyze a number pattern to tell the rule. What is happening to get from one number to another? Sometimes a pattern rule is going from one number to another. Sometimes it's in a t-table and trying to figure out from one column to the other what the number is, what's happening to get to the new number. Um, in this case, let's take a look at some that are in a row, basically, from one number to the next number to the next number and so on. What's happening each time? Well, to get from 5 to 6, from 6 to 8, from 8 to 11, from 11 to 15, well, we know it's an increasing pattern. If it's increasing, we're going to be adding or we're going to be multiplying. Well, can we multiply anything from 5 to get to 6? No, we can't, so it's probably adding. From 5 to 6, we can see it's going up by 1. From 6 to 8, it's going up by 2. From 8 to 11, it's going up by 3. So this is an increasing pattern. Um, the way you would communicate this pattern is that it would be um, input, or the, the first number. Usually it's called input um, in our textbook anyway. Plus 1, comma, plus 2, comma plus three, comma, and then we would put in an ellipse, which is those three dots that mean that that pattern does in fact continue. All right, or we could write this pattern in number, in words, sorry, and we could say that we are starting at five to be specific and we are adding one, but then we are increasing the number you add by one each time. So we are adding by one, then adding by two, then adding by three, then adding by four, then adding by five, and so on. All right, let's take a look at another number pattern. Here we have our number pattern going from 10 to six, to 11, to seven, to 12. Oh, this is an interesting pattern. First it gets smaller, and then it gets bigger, and then it gets smaller, and then it gets bigger. Hmm. Looks like it might be a repeating pattern of some sort. Um, to get from 10 to 6 is definitely getting smaller. We would divide or we would subtract. And in this case, we're going to subtract, and we see it's right here. We're subtracting by 4. The next time it's getting bigger, and we're adding by 5, subtracting by 4, adding by 5. So to communicate this pattern, we would say that we are starting at 10, and we are alternately subtracting by 4, then adding by 5. If we were to write it just in shorthand, it would be um, the number, which sometimes we use an N for, um, or input is what it, they end up calling it in the grade 6 textbook. textbook. So we'll go with input for now. Um, input minus 4 plus 5, comma, minus 4 plus 5, and then again that ellipse that shows that it is in fact repeating. In words, we would say that we're starting at 10 and we are alternately subtracting 4 and adding 5. And we could continue that pattern. All right, now you get to do some practice. Um, and here we have some tables of information and you need to determine the rule for each table of information. So here we have one table, they're square tables. Uh, it fits four people. Two tables fit eight people. Three tables fit four people. What are we doing to get from the four to the eight to the 12? Here we have hexagonal tables. A hexagon, remember, has six sides. So one table fits six people, two tables fit 12 people, three tables fit 18 people. What's happening to get from six to 12 to 18 and so on? Press pause and with your partner, find those rules. All right, so let's see, what did we get? Do What could we do to get from four to eight, from eight to 12? Well, uh, it's increasing, so we know we have to be adding or multiplying. What could we add from 4 to get to 8? Well, we could add 4. From 8 to get to 12, could we add another 4? Yes, we could. So that could be our rule. It could be adding 4 each time. Now, sometimes when we look at patterns, we are actually looking at the, at the pattern across the table, and you'll find that more so um, as we go along. And in this case, we could be looking at it across. So one 
table to get to 4, 2 tables to get to 8, 3 tables to get to 12. What are we doing each time to get from 1 to 4, from 2 to 8, from 3 to 12? And that's relating the number of tables to the number of people. So if I had, for example, six tables, I could very easily use the tables to people rule in order to help me figure it out. Well, let's see. One table has four people. Two tables have eight people. Three tables have 12 people. What are we doing to one to get to four? Well, I could add four again, but then two plus four would also have to work, which only gives me six. So that doesn't work. So plus four does not work if we are going across the T table. But we could have multiplied by 4. 1 times 4. Does 2 times 4 work? Does 3 times 4 work? Yes, it does. The nice thing about doing a, um, a rule that goes across the table is that we can very easily use it for a much larger number. So, for example, if I jump to 6, I can easily go, okay, 6 times 4 is, well, that's 24. Um, so I have my number, oops, not 22. 24, so I have my number of uh, tables. If I were trying to use the number of people and keep going down, I would have to keep adding 4 until I got all the way down to 6. So 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 4, and so on and so on until we got all the way to 24, which takes more time. It's not as effective. So you can look at patterns two ways. You can look at it um, in the table across or you can look at it up and down when you're just looking at the number of people and seeing what's changing there. Uh, let's try that with the next one. And again, from 6 to 12 to 18, what are we noticing? Well, it is increasing, so again, we're going to have to add or multiply. Um, 6 plus what would give me 12? Well, plus 6. 12 plus 6 would give me 18. So perfect. If I was doing number of people to number of people, I would be adding 6 each time. However, if I went across the table, from one table, like across the T table, I mean, if I had one table, what would I do to get to 6? If I had two tables, what would I do to get to 12? If I had three, oops, that's supposed to be three. If I had three tables, what would I do to get to 18? Um, and in this case, it looks like I'm going to be multiplying by 6. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18. So I could communicate this pattern in two ways. I could say the number of tables oops, times 6 equals the number of people. Or I could say the number of people add 6 equals the number of people. Number of people. And that just shows us that we can look at patterns in different ways and still have um, a a different rule that's going to result in the same number um, each time. It's just the way that you're looking at that information that's going to change. All right, so here we're also continuing with our practice and we're trying to figure out what's happening from number to number. Uh, so we can't do an across the table rule in this case. We would have to just do what's happening to get from one number to the next. Um, and see if you can figure that out with your elbow partners. Remember, it may not happen the very first time. You may have to try a variety of different things. Key things to remember is if the number is getting bigger, you're probably adding or multiplying. If the number is getting smaller, you're probably subtracting or dividing. And you might have to try more than one thing. Um, so say, for example, I had a pattern here. Um, I've seen this first pattern, and I'm going to try uh, plus, oops, plus 4. Uh, 116 plus 4, no, that's not going to work. That's only 120. So what I want to do then is just put a quick little line through it so I've seen, okay, I've tried that, it's not going to work. Um, but that was awfully close, so I'm going to adjust my pattern or my rule just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to realize, well, I still want to get a little bit bigger, so maybe I'll add by 6, and I'll try that.
Mm, no, that's still not quite right. And I'll adjust. So show that work of what it is that you're doing. Because if eventually after you've tried like six or seven different things, you're still not able to find anything, at least as I that I have evidence to see what it is that you've tried and how that can possibly direct your next try. So show that work when you're doing yours. All right, press pause and try these now with your partners. All right, so let's take a look at what patterns you should have been able to figure out here, or what could have been what it could be. Um, from one. 16 to 121, we had tried plus 4 and plus 6, then we could realize, okay, we're right in the middle there, plus 5. And does plus 5 work all the way along? Remember, you have to try it for at least 3. Uh, plus 5, yes, 121 plus 5 is 126, plus 5 is 131, plus 5 is 136. So that's perfect. Now, to clearly communicate this pattern, we would say that we are starting at... at... 116 and we are adding 5 each time. Next pattern to get from 4 to 8, from 8 to 16, well it's increasing so I'm going to start by trying um, times, sorry, plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, so it works there. 8 plus 4, oh, not 16. Shucks, okay, that doesn't work. Um, how about times? Let's go times 4, because 4 times 4 hmm, uh, is 16. No, that doesn't work. Uh, what else might I try? Uh, let's try times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Yeah, that works. 8 times 2 is 16. Oh, great, that works. So starting at... Four, to be specific, times two each time. That would be our rule. And for C, let's take a look. We're going from one to three, three to nine, nine to twenty-seven. It is increasing. We could try adding. Uh, one plus two would be three. 3 plus 2 would not be 9, so that wouldn't work. Let's try a multiplying one. 1 times what would be 3? Uh, 1 times 3 would be 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Yep, that works. So to be clear, we would say starting at 1, multiply 3 each time. All right, so now you've had some practice with patterning and trying to determine the rule. Um, you are now doing your concept practice, page eight, numbers one, three, four, and five, trying to analyze the pattern to tell the rule. Uh, remember, as you're working, if you have any questions to please let me know. Uh, remember to show your work, to demonstrate your understanding, seek to be understood. And um, if you have any questions, definitely ask.